On first at four, it is election day in America and the valley has been extremely busy. From thousands of voters casting their ballots early this morning, we are already on our way to a record voter turnout. And look at some of these long lines of voters at ASU. We've been talking a lot about the millennial vote this year and whether or not they would show up in force. If this is any indication, it sure looks like they will, and they have. And for some of those kids, they're the very first time that they will mm -hmm. ever be voting. But it isn't election day without at least some issues. The first real issue of the day was found in Chandler, as confused voters are unexpectedly shut out of their polling location before election day even got started. And we first told you about the closed uh, Golf Academy of America closing its location early this morning. Maricopa County recorder Adrian Fontes tweeted around 7 that the location in fact was up and running. But Team 12's Jen Wall was live there and found a very different scene. She even tweeted Fontes saying the only voters with early ballots can vote while others were told either to wait or they were sent to Chandler City Hall. Frustration earlier this morning in Chandler as dozens of voters tried to show up to cast their ballot only to find they were locked out of their polling location. So far, I haven't been able to vote. I saw a commotion. I saw people lingering around their cars outside in the parking lot. Shut out of the polls. You know, it's so important to vote and I was getting it. I got up at five. I thought I'm going to come over here at six and then I come over and everybody's outside. Instead of being handed a ballot, Chandler's Gila Precinct saw this. The doors locked so folks cannot get inside. Hey everybody, Adrian Fontes. Maricopa County recorder Adrian Fontes reporting the news via Facebook Live and Twitter around 5.30 a.m. Last night, apparently, the landlord locked the door because the facility that we were renting from is in foreclosure. Uh, which we were perfectly unaware of. For hours following, disappointed Arizonans who live between McQueen, Warner, Knox, and Alma School were told to wait to vote at Chandler's Golf Academy of America location or head to Chandler City Hall or Tumbleweed Park. We're already in communication with the Sheriff's Department. We may just go in and forcibly enter uh, so that we can get all our, our equipment and serve those voters. Poll workers who say they spent hours to finish setting up last night ended up spending much of this morning putting together temporary booths outside of the locked doors. Only early voters could turn in their ballots shortly after Election Day started. There's plenty of kids here that are 19, 20, 21 years old that this was going to be their career. Also shut out of that same location, Golf Academy of America students like Mike Potratz. The foreclosure sign doesn't look good, obviously. Um, my assumption is that the school will be closing, but, but we don't know. So we'll find out more tomorrow to see if school resumes or if the rent gets paid. What was supposed to be a promising day for voters and students started unexpectedly as both ballots and classrooms were unreachable to start the day. Jen Wall, 12 News.